Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to add storage to existing Windows Server 2022 failover cluster. In the last video, we learned how to create a Windows Server 2022 failover cluster using Windows PowerShell. To get an idea of the lab setup, please watch that video first. The link to that video is provided in the description area. We are moving forward from the point we left in the previous video. Let's go to our domain controller VM first to create a virtual disk. In the first step, we are going to create a new iSCSI virtual disk that will be used as the storage disk in the cluster. In the last video, already we have created iSCSI target and we have also defined the iSCSI initiator. Now we just need to create a virtual disk and map it to the existing iSCSI target. Create virtual disk with the size of 1 TB. Let's copy this command and go back to PowerShell and paste it there. Hit enter key to create a virtual disk with a size of 1 TB. This command creates an iSCSI virtual disk named vdisk2 on volume E. Next, we will assign the virtual disk to the existing iSCSI target. Let's copy that command. If you want to check whether you have existing iSCSI target or not, that time you can run the command get hyphen iSCSI server target. Uh, let me copy this command, but first we are going to run that command. Let's type cmd delete get hyphen iSCSI target and hit enter key. Actually, the command is get hyphen iSCSI server target. Let's hit enter key. Uh, we can see the target name msft hyphen iSCSI target 01 and already we have map one learn with the name vdisk1. Now let's copy that command and let's paste here. Let's hit enter key to assign the virtual disk to our iSCSI target. Let's again run the previous command get hyphen iSCSI server target. Let's hit enter key to execute the CM delete. Now we can see we have two learn mapping. One is vdisk1 and the second is vdisk2. So we can confirm that both virtual disks are now assigned to our iSCSI target with the name msft iSCSI target01. So our configuration on our iSCSI target server is completed. And already both nodes are configured to access iSCSI target server using iSCSI initiator. So we don't have to do anything regarding it. Let's go to our node 2. Let's open Windows PowerShell. Uh, let me type cmd delete get hyphen disk and hit enter key. We can confirm that the second iSCSI disk is available but it is offline. Note down the disk number which is 2 in this example. Let's bring the disk online by running cmd delete set hyphen disk hyphen number 2 hyphen is offline dollar false. Hit enter key. Now again run cmd delete get hyphen disk. We can see the disk is now online. Next step is to initialize the disk and set the GPT partition style for the disk. Type cmd delete initialize hyphen disk hyphen number 2 hyphen partition style GPT and hit enter key. Type cmd delete get hyphen disk and hit enter key. We can confirm that the disk 2 is now online with GPT partition style. Now we are going to create a new partition on disk2. Type cmd delete new hyphen partition hyphen disk number hyphen use maximum size hyphen assign drive later. Hit enter key to create a partition with maximum size on disk2 and assign the drive a later. Note down the drive later which is f in this example. Type cmd delete get hyphen volume and hit enter key. Check the file system of volume f. It is unknown, so we are going to format with the NTFS file system. Type cmd delete format hyphen volume hyphen drive later f hyphen file system NTFS hyphen force and hit enter key to format the volume with NTFS file system. Let's again run get hyphen volume cmd delete and check the file system. 
This time, it should be formatted with NTFS file system. Once the disk has been created and formatted, we can add it to the cluster. This can be done using Cluster Manager or Windows PowerShell. First, let's do it using Windows PowerShell. Type cmd get hyphen disk hyphen number. In our case, the disk number is 2. Pipe add hyphen cluster disk. Hit enter key to add the disk 2 to our existing cluster. The cmd has been executed successfully. Type cmd get hyphen cluster resource and hit enter key. Verify that the disk 2 has been successfully added to the existing Windows failover cluster. Let's verify that in failover cluster manager. Go back to failover cluster manager. Let's click on cluster name and click on refresh. Expand storage and click on disk. We can see now we have two disks. Disk 1 is assigned as a disk witness and disk 2 is assigned as a available storage. Currently, the disk is present on node 1. Let's remove it. Thus, right click on cluster disk 2 and select remove. Click on yes to confirm it. Now, suppose if you want to add existing disk to the failover cluster, right click on disk and select add disk. Select the disk you want to add. Disk 2 is selected. Click OK. Disk 2 is added successfully. Disk is assigned as available storage. As you have seen in this video, we can use Windows PowerShell and Cluster Manager to add storage to the existing Windows Server 2022 failover cluster. The process to add shared storage to the existing cluster is very easy and straightforward. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.